This FedGov Today program is sponsored by Rancher Government Solutions. Welcome back. You heard a moment ago that the modernization strides agencies are making are likely to continue. Federal agency leaders say they want to see if the next generation of modernization will have the same goals as the work agencies have been doing. Ryan Lewis is chief executive officer at Rancher Government Solutions. Ryan, welcome. Thanks for joining me. What's your sense from the conversation you just heard and from other work that you're doing across the government of what that next generation of modernization might look like? Well, thanks for having me, Francis. And I would say one of the big quotes that jumped out at me from the last discussion was that it is not a question of tools, but one of value. Mm. And I think just to, to reiterate one of the points they were making, it's, it's truly a novel time, right, for federal end users right now with this the sheer number of tools, something that certainly when I first started in this industry, I wouldn't have been able to guess at. So we have multiple cloud offerings now, fully deployed, advanced on-prem solutions, an ever-increasing array of edge capabilities. And now, you know, no one can escape sort of the ongoing discussion about ever-emergent, robust AI solutions. Really, the question, though, is how do we orchestrate all of that? And more importantly for, you know, uh, some of them myself, how do we help government end users remove as much friction mm -hmm. as we can from the system so they can focus on their core task, right, of securing, deploying, and then managing their infrastructure or applications so they can really spend a majority of their time and resources on achieving their mission and mm -hmm. less about figuring out all the complexities of DevOps and managing the ever-growing amount of technical debt. Is there a temptation that you're still seeing for people to go look for a tool to manage the tools or people getting out of that mode in your view? Absolutely. It can, it can be compounding, right? And I think one of the, one of the core things that's uh, been so exciting to see the emergence and widespread adoption of container-based technologies is that you're starting to see a lot of program offices and end users realize that through those sorts of platforms, certainly something right that we work on at Rancher is that you can cut across all these different technologies and start to abstract away sort of the tool upon tool upon tool that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You used the term friction a moment ago. What's the friction that agency people tell you I have in my organization and what are the ways that they're asking for that friction to be removed? Or do they yeah. not know that? And maybe that's why they're asking you. Well, yeah, and some, sometimes it's, it's a mixture of both where they'll have maybe one core challenge, but then as we start to unpack what their end users actually need, it, it, uh, it unfolds into several others. And I think you know, at, a, at the highest level, it falls into a couple categories. You have end users that want to be able to deploy an app across multiple clouds or into an on-prem. You'll have end users that want to try to modernize a legacy application, but in the typical parlance, have no downtime, maintain perfect performance, right? And that is something that's almost impossible to do. Mm -hmm. And then third, and I think what's even been more interesting is this evolution to say that we want to have fully enabled edge solutions. So think of like uh, a, mobile, a mobile device or some sort of kit that will get deployed out with, with you on an exercise or something to that effect. That that has to have the same level of functionality as you would expect for an end user back in, the, back in a, a command center, but also have all the other capability of it needs to operate in a disconnected environment and be ruggedized and things to that effect. And so depending on the type of scenario, Right, it can be walking them through one of those, it can be walking through a program office through all three of those. Mm -hmm. And how you approach that, I think the, the core underlying technology remains the same, but some of the security challenges, some of the hardening challenges vary from each one of those use cases. We have about a minute left. You used the term edge a couple of times, and I'm struck by how often I hear the concept of edge computing, edge capabilities discussed in the civilian agencies. DOD, it's not surprising, but I hear it all the time now in civilian agencies. Should those organizations think about edge computing and edge capabilities the same way the, Depart the Defense Department does? Perhaps the use cases are different, but a lot of the underlying technology and lessons learned that enable that seamless end user experience or to have uh, to bring in dynamically new applications, that sort of underlying technology and lessons learned remain the same. Ryan, it's great to have you here. Thanks very much for joining us.